My real name is Christian Fellner. I'm from Trumbull, Connecticut. I'm the youngest of five. I have two stepbrothers. I basically grew up in like a suburban area. Went to like a shitty middle school. I didn't like wait, waking up early for the bus and shit. Just like snow in Connecticut. And that whole vibe of just like mundanity and like bleakness. And see, you guys are out here in Chicago. You know how it gets in the winter and whatnot. I would say high school was definitely like not a cool period of my rap career. Cause it's like, you're really, you're so young in high school and you're so tr so desperately trying to figure shit out, but you have no f you have no clue what you are yet. And so it's a bunch of like trying this these waters out and trying these waters out. And so, I mean, I'm just like a go-getter type and I just, I'm the type to like try a bunch of shit out and like not really scared to fail. But I definitely think I put out some whack shit in, high, in like early high school and like I got, people were like knocking it and shit and I was just like, damn. Like they don't, they just don't understand me. So I went through that phase. And then there was like a point where it was like, y'all are kind of right. Let me revisit myself. And then I kind of like scrapped a bunch of my old shit. And then I, I released it some, I was called, I think it was called like Wish I Cared. It was like some, some like small project that was like, all right, I don't care anymore. And I was just me like flowing and just saying like, fuck all those dudes who were, who were knocking me. That's just like the period of growing, bro. You can't be ill at, like everyone's a beginner at some point. It's like, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a marathon, you know? And so in high school, I was just kind of like trying to figure it out. And now all those people who were talking shit are like hit me up. So it's like, it's as, cla it's as like cliche and classic as it gets, but. It's all good. Oh, everybody's your friend on show day, bro. Yeah. But yeah, just, just growing up in Connecticut as it is just was super, um, it just made you want to create and want to do to do interesting things because there wasn't that much interesting things. Like it has a bunch of beautiful aspects, but nothing too like exciting or anything like LA. So when I finally got to LA, it's like, this shit's crazy now, yeah. I always knew that it would affect me because it's a new place and it's like literally exact other part of the country. It is a lot, man. LA is very, it is like the glitter and glam that everyone uh, says it is. And it's very real. And now I live with Hayden, who goes by Gyps. Y'all know him by Gyps. And uh, he's like as LA as it gets, which is funny because like, they're always hip to shit quicker than people on like the East Coast. And so like, I'll come back with some stuff from the West Coast when I go back home. And the kids in Connecticut are like, like they're just like behind a little bit and LA is just like which they're like hype beastie in LA which is cool for some for a little bit but I don't know it could be a lot sometimes where it's like all right man this shit doesn't matter I'm in LA right now um we're on something called the school zones tour right now that's why we're stopping by Chicago with you good people in the winter I got a tour called, called the mermaid gang tour and that's like 30 plus dates and we're gonna have like full live band for that and the full squad's gonna be coming and we're gonna have some dope openers. And um, that's like what I'm so stoked for right now. Cause like this tour that we're on right now is like a small one, just rapper DJ. But like this next one is like, I'm a B front man band type shit. And so like, I'm a really be on some new like discovery. So I also been creating music with like bands and instruments and stuff like that. So I don't know, the, the, the era of, uh, Yo, rap on this beat on SoundCloud that you don't have the stems for and that sounds like shit and this sounds like it's ripped off YouTube. It's kind of like going away. It's like, let's create some like really good sounds. He brings over two strippers uh, and they want to have a dance. And she's like, please just dance with me. Like, here, if you give me, do, do you smoke? And I'm like, do I smoke? Yeah. So she's like, okay, if you if you dance with me, I'll, I'll just give you, I'll give you some weed. I don't want to be tiny. You know, I, I want it all. Like I said, I want to dethrone people. I want people to know that I'm coming. And it wasn't just about me. I just saw the potential of the entire label. And every, every time like I had a great idea, I felt like it just, it just wasn't on their, their list of things to do. I've had moments where I was just like, fuck it, man, I'm, I'm in debt. You know what I'm saying? I, I gotta get a job. I gotta, you know what I'm saying? I gotta stop with the music. You know what I'm saying? I've had plenty of moments like that, but honestly, this is what I'm passionate about and what is success without struggle. If a girl's taste in music is just super lame. Like I cannot have a deep conversation with you with just EDM music just blaring in the back, just bam, 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 bam. Like, that's not gonna work. 